Let's take a look at 1.4. 1.4 is quite an interesting question. We don't usually come across something like this. Well, the last question on question one, solving for x, it's always interesting, right? Uh, but let's take a look at the case we have. We have r plus qs being equals to a and r minus qs being equals to b. And it's supposed to prove that r multiplied by s is equals to a squared minus b squared divided by 8. How can we possibly do that? Well, it's either you realize it or you don't. But I hope you did realize when you were answering that question, uh, this question uh, that we have a difference of two squares right here. a squared minus b squared. This is a difference of two squares because we know that a squared minus b squared is equal to a plus b multiplied by a minus b. There we go. That is the key to answering this question. Well, maybe another person can probably introduce another possible way, but as soon as you realize that you have a difference of two squares, it should be fairly easy. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So because we have a difference of two squares, let's take a look at a plus b and figure out what this is equals to. a plus b, we know that a is equals to r plus 2s, right? So we're going to have r plus 2s. And then plus b, b is r minus 2s. So r plus r is 2r. So we have a plus b being equals to 2r. rs minus, not rs, but 2s minus 2s will give us 0. So there we go. We have a plus b, which is equals to 2r, right? And then now let's figure out what a minus b is equals to, right? And then this is going to be r plus 2s minus r minus 2s. So let's take a look. a minus b will be equal to r minus r will give us 0. And then 2s minus minus 2s will give us 4s. So there we go. We have a plus b, which is equal to 2r. And then we have a minus b, which is equal to 4s. If in this equation we make r the subject to the formula, we get a plus b divided by 2 being equal to r. And then in this equation, if we make s the subject of the formula, we get a minus b divided by 4 being equal to s. So r multiplied by s will be equal to a plus b over 2 multiplied by a minus b over 4. Well, it should be easy to see that in the numerator, we have a plus b multiplied by a minus b. And then on the denominator, we have 2 multiplied by 4, which is 8. But there, what we have on the numerator is a difference of two squares. So this is a squared minus b squared over 8.